Day three of the Africa Science Week in Uganda, and we just held a Rotaract Professional Leadership Development Forum on Science. But utilizing the knowledge they had. We had an address from a senior scientist in Uganda, the board chairman for NITA Uganda. Uh, he shared his life story and inspired us into, into connecting science with society. Science is indigenous to our culture. Because it comes back in a different form and language, we assume that it is foreign. And therefore, I've got a challenge of reintegrating it, making it indigenous once again. Science is not simply about knowledge, but about applying it in a way that benefits society. Then we can talk about science coming back to us. It was important that we held a conversation on, on STEM in Uganda with Rotaractors because Rotary is one of the organizations that, that gathers the largest number of young people, of youth, in, one, in any one place weekly you know, having weekly meetings. And so the composition of our audience today was young people in Uganda that are operating in so many fields of science in one place. People talk about science in the language they understand. Science is not a complex language. It is a language which must be... Well, I'm excited by the fact that our discussion today was with Rotractors, which young business and professional persons who have got the means at their disposal in terms of time, ideas, to really change society. Rotary we focus on community development, and therefore we produce, provide a unique opportunity for young people to engage the community and translate their knowledge into really useful things. We had brilliant questions, we had lots of people asking how they can transform their careers from simply earning money into impactful careers and changing the societies and communities around them. And we've seen this happening. Somebody was talking about developing a scan. I think you recognized him. Tonight I've been awarded the next Einstein Forum Award under the category of STEM. Uh, I've had a contribution in science regarding technology. We've developed a low-cost mobile ultrasound device that can work on mobile phones, a tablet, or a laptop so that mothers in low resource settings can be scanned. Being from a low resource country, I believe there are so many problems and there is a wide scope of gap that the youth can innovate within. So science has a very, very key part to play in our lives in Uganda and Africa at large.